welcome to number one channel. My name is David Chams, coming live from DS Image Studios, and this is Sema and David Chams. Today I'm joined my, by my guest, who suffered and still suffering through alcoholic life. For the last three years, he's been struggling with alcoholic life, and he's here today to share his story. And uh, if you're watching this channel for the first time, remember to subscribe, drop a comment there, and give a like. Bro, so who died there? Uh, my name is Abel Waro. I'm born in Nixi, a family of four. I'm the first born. Uh, I, I was not born drinking mm. until I finished form four. I went to university, I dropped, I started drinking. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for coming to our studio and uh, you know, uh, taking your time and also using your resources to reach us here. So you, you said you have a story that you wanted to share with our viewers and also uh, many people outside the world about your alcoholic life. And uh, uh, maybe to start with, I know you have a reason as why you want to share this story, right? Yeah. You'll, you'll tell us that and then from there we proceed. So just take us through your story. How you started to, you know, drinking life and, you know, up to now, where you have reached? Okay. Uh, I started drinking back in 2019. Mm. I it was 2019. My mom passed on. My dad sent me to Sudan, where he used to work. I went there. Sudan, there is nothing good. There's nothing you can okay. do. Okay, maybe, maybe before we proceed, just tell us how how your life was before you, maybe you started drinking, your academic life, how you brought up, and then up to now, up to where you reached and then found yourself in a drinking life. Okay. I schooled in a primary school in the village. I was the first, the first people who did class eight with five subjects, 500 marks. Mm -hmm. That's 2002. Mm -hmm. I passed well. I was good in a high school, a, a provincial high school. My dad was not able to take me there. Mm -hmm. I went to a village school. I, I went there like one year, the first year. I finished first year. My uncle, who is the cousin of my dad, took me to Nairobi. Kangemi mm -hmm. High School. I was there from one, from two, uh, from two, from three. I went back home. Mm -hmm. I did my form four. I attained a P brain of sixty-five. Mm -hmm. My dad had no money to take me to university. Okay. He told me to go back to school. I went back. I did another day. but that time my dad was even was not even able to pay my ranch. My ranch in school. You, you went to receive for exam? Uh, uh, form for, for, for exam? Form for exam, second time. Second time. My dad was, una, was not able to pay even for lunch. Mm -hmm. I dropped again. I came out. I was doing these small, small jobs in this village. I was called for mock exams. That time there, was, there were mock exams. Mm -hmm. I did well. I got an A minus. I was 78 mm -hmm. or more. Mm -hmm. I went out again to do small, small, two small, small jobs. When I came in to do exam, I was depressed because my sister was supposed to go to college. The one who is following me immediately. Mm -hmm. I had no money. My dad has no money. So my sister, gave up. I went, I went out and borrowed money. I gave my sister to buy some clothes to go to college. Mm -hmm. That is Wusi Institute of Technology. Mm -hmm. She did food technology. Mm -hmm. She bought clothes. My dad went again, borrowed money. Now he paid this, the tuition money for mm -hmm. my sister. Mm -hmm. I settled. I went on 
I went to do an exam, a new exam, KCSEA. Second time. No. Second time. Mm. I did that exam. I just added one point because of depression. <laughs> okay. 65 mm. points. Yeah. I came out. I was caught in the University of Nairobi mm -hmm. Environmental Science. Mm -hmm. I tried to change. I wanted to do education. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if I was caught for education, I could do mathematics and business. Mm -hmm. I missed 0 0.9 points, mm -hmm. so I dropped out of campus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just dropped because I never liked any environment. Environment is a lot of power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like power. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So from there now, you what what happened after dropping out? After dropping out, mm -hmm. I came my state Chakaranda, Chakaranda Tati Kayure. Mm -hmm. I stayed there like one year. Mm -hmm. I got born again in a church. Mm -hmm. I went that, to that church. I served in that church. Mm -hmm. How old were you that time? By then? That's like 26 years. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I got born again. I went to church. I was serving. I could get you in the road, on the road. Mm -hmm. I could win you to church. Mm -hmm. uh, one time, my shoes got off. Mm -hmm. They were on, they gone out. Mm -hmm. I asked God, God, I'm your servant. What is this that I'm going through? Mm -hmm. Do you know what sent a person? He gave me 5,000. Someone said, give you 5,000? 5,000. Mm -hmm. I put shoes, mm -hmm. clothes, mm -hmm. I paid tight, mm -hmm. I went on mm -hmm. to my life. Mm -hmm. And now I met my wife in that church. Okay. My wife was doing was working in Barclays, that is Absa now. Absa, yes, yeah. Yeah. Was working in Barclays. Mm -hmm. We met, we talked. I just left I just left her. We never exchanged the, the numbers. Mm -hmm. I just went. The second time we met mm -hmm. in the church again. Mm -hmm. She asked me for my for the number. Mm -hmm. I gave. Mm -hmm. She called me late night at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. 10, 10 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We talked. We talked. We met. I was serving in a fellowship. House fellowship. I invited her. Mm -hmm. I told her come to the house fellowship at Mocha mm -hmm. She came. When she came, uh, I finished the fellowship. We finished. We finished the fellowship. Mm -hmm. we, we went out. I got her. We she she arrived on forward. Mm -hmm. She was staying at Makada. Mm -hmm. She went. The following day, she called. Mm -hmm. She gave me five thousand. Mm -hmm. The first time. First time you met. First time. Mm -hmm. That now the second, the third time. Oh, third time. The third time. Mm -hmm. She gave me five thousand. Mm -hmm. She told me, I have a business. I will introduce you. Keep this five thousand. She was, she was like testing me. Mm -hmm. I kept that that five thousand in the house. Mm -hmm. The following day she called me. Come, I got that man. I came to Barclays Western. Mm -hmm. I gave her that man. She told me I don't I don't tell you to come with this man. Mm -hmm. She told me, let's go out for lunch. We ate. Then we came to town. Mm -hmm. She gave me another five thousand. Mm -hmm. She introduced me to online writing. She writes academic writing. Mm -hmm. She took me through the writing like one week. Mm -hmm. She put me a, a laptop. Mm -hmm. That ten thousand, I have it. Mm -hmm. She told me that for credit, mm -hmm. you buy bundles, mm -hmm. you write. Okay. On. Now, 2019, when it's ending, mm -hmm. she be, she, we okay, we met each other. She became pregnant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I was, I I went home. When I went home, I stayed like two months. Mm -hmm. She sent fair. Mm -hmm. I came back to Nairobi. To Nairobi. Mm -hmm. She had rented a house at Feather, mm -hmm. near Catholic. Mm -hmm. So we started staying, 
she gave birth our first born mm -hmm. our first born is called afia afia yeah it's a girl mm -hmm. i started staying with the girl in the house mm -hmm. after three months mm -hmm. she was went on with the job but the job ended mm -hmm. now she got another job at the airport mm -hmm. duty free shop mm -hmm. she started she was that lucky, lucky. Uh, mm -hmm. she did that the bed international mm -hmm. is for petty mm -hmm. the former mp mm -hmm. she started doing that job after one year she came with another a, 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 a friend who is a lady who was drinking mm -hmm. and my wife is not she, she does not come from a family that drinks mm -hmm. she does not what this article mm -hmm. and all that she came with a friend to introduce she told me introduce this girl to that business i told you mm -hmm. i started training her the girl she came with yeah mm -hmm. i started training her the girl introduced introduced me to article okay the first time a friend to your wife a friend to my wife mm -hmm. it took i puked my own mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I to this alcohol because did she convince you or no? Mm. The when she came to my house after one week, she told me now you come to my house. I, I went to a house. Mm -hmm. so to, to a, work a, from there. A, a husband mm. was working in Somalia. Mm -hmm. He's a chef. Mm -hmm. He uh, he put alcohol three boxes. Mm. Uh, for her, for her, mm -hmm. she told me, "If you don't go and take dog, dog, when I took, mm -hmm. I puked my own. Mm -hmm. I said, "No, this thing is not mine. It's not good. Yeah. It's not good." Mm -hmm. I stayed. I introduced the the woman to the business. She started doing. Mm -hmm. She made a lot of money. She was, she was lucky. Okay. She got a lot of people to give the work. Mm -hmm. she, got, she made a lot of work. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. That should be a very good business. Now, mm -hmm. my mom died January 1st, 2019. Mm -hmm. Polly. Mm -hmm. 2020. Oh, 2020. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I went home to burn my to burn my mom. mom. Mm -hmm. My wife came later the following day. Mm -hmm. I traveled with my baby. My wife came later. Mm -hmm. So when we buried my mom, my dad was working in Sudan. Mm -hmm. He told me go to back to Sudan, mm -hmm. check my business. Oh, your dad, your dad uh, flew from Sudan to come and bury your mom. Yeah. Then no. he sent you to. He told me go to Sudan. To Sudan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I. I reached the Chupa, we stayed in Chupa like one week. Oh, Chupa. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, where we were going, it is called United States. Mm -hmm. there, is, there is the states like the US. Oh, Here yes. we have count counties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is the state. state, state. Yes. yes. Now, we were in the United States. Mm -hmm. It's now the capital city of Wu. Even, even the, the offices, mm -hmm. they are in the United States. In Sudan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I went from Chupa to Unit mm -hmm. is two hours thirty minutes flight. Hey, it's that far. Yeah? It's not driving, mm -hmm. flight. Flight. Okay, you cool. know, mm -hmm. the is three times Kenya. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Southern. The southern and northern. Mm -hmm. So I went there. Mm -hmm. I stayed like one week. Mm -hmm. Now the woman who took me there, she has a, a daughter. The daughter introduced me to Pombe again. When you Sudan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I started taking the rock. You know, the rock of Sudan mm -hmm. is from the wheat. Wheat, wheat is my my Wheat. Wheat. Yes. My embe. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that bitter like the Kenya one. Mm -hmm. But if you take one pot, it is sweet. If you take one pot of water, the one we buy. 20 pop. Mm -hmm. That one, mm -hmm. you sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was taking like three. 
then I couldn't see after being introduced to after being introduced. Introduced. Uh -huh. Rough. And then uh -huh. Shisha is not banned in Sudan like it is banned oh, in Kenya. Oh Shisha. Shisha, yeah. Uh -huh. I started taking Shisha. Uh -huh. Shisha. Alcohol. Alcohol. Shisha. Alcohol. Uh -huh. I could wake up in the morning, uh -huh. five, uh -huh. I open shop, I arrange everything, I go, I take, I come back. Now, this daughter of this this who, the daughter of who took me to Sudan mm -hmm. accused me stealing from her. Okay. Do you know who, who came to me? Mm -hmm. It's not the, the normal police, mm -hmm. military police. Oh, she brought you military police? Military, not mm -hmm. police. Mil military to arrest military. you. Mm -hmm. Military. Mm -hmm. It was, I remember it was 745 mm -hmm. the evening. Mm -hmm. They took me. I was beaten properly by this uh, military. By the military. Mm -hmm. In the morning, a young lady came for me. Mm -hmm. She was a friend to my dad. Mm -hmm. she came for me. She when, came. When, when this was happening, yeah. where is your dad? And my dad is still in Kenya. In Kenya. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. the woman came for me. And there, mm -hmm. they go uh, on Arabic. In English, we call it internet. Mm -hmm. Arabic, we call it Shabak. In Sudan? Yeah, I did. Shabak. Mm -hmm. There is no Shabak in, in Sudan, mm -hmm. where we were. Mm -hmm. You cannot call, you cannot be called. Yes. All that time, the lady was. Now, the, the person who saw me taken to the police station mm -hmm. went to this, to this lady. Mm -hmm. she, he told her that uh, this, this young man has been taken to police. This Ugandan lady? Yeah, she, that person went to this Uganda lady. Mm -hmm. It's a Sudanese mm -hmm. who went to this Uganda. Oh yes, to report. To report. Mm -hmm. uh, this man I saw you with has been taken to the police. Mm -hmm. uh, how can we help him? Mm -hmm. Ooh, now they ready. Like, who? Abel. Mm -hmm. Abel. That lady came without even wearing anything. <laughs> She was, she wrapped herself with a, a razor. Mm -hmm. She came to the police. Mm -hmm. She just paid. She didn't want how much. She mm -hmm. just paid. Okay. She then just asked how much mm -hmm. do you want. Mm -hmm. We went to her house. She gave me water to shower. Mm -hmm. shower. And then the following Monday, the following day, I had 5,000 Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. This 5,000 is what like he, like 50,000 Sudanese, mm -hmm. Sudanese pound, mm -hmm. I changed. Mm -hmm. I wanted to come back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. This lady called, this Iwana lady called the one who took me to Sudan. Mm -hmm. And said, Abel, Abel was shared with my daughter. For, for what reason? Mm -hmm. She told her, keep Abel in the house, I'm coming tomorrow. So the mother to the lady that the head uh, uh, was to jail you. Yeah. Now inquiry and many are asking why. Uh, you, why? Why you taking the police? Keep Abel uh -huh. in the house uh -huh. until I come tomorrow. Uh -huh. Where she was coming from is one day drive, not a day, not twenty four hours, uh -huh. twelve hours driving. Uh -huh. She came uh -huh. the following day. She asked me, Abel. Don't go to Kenya. Mm -hmm. I will take you to Kenya when come when time comes. Mm -hmm. So we went where she stays the following day. Mm -hmm. I stayed like one month. Mm -hmm. I was still drinking. Mm -hmm. I was still drinking alcohol, shisha. Ah, she got tired. She mm -hmm. told me, Abel, here you will die. Because where we were staying, you know, there are like 50, 50 something tribes in Sudan. Mm -hmm. No, seven <coughs> something tribes in Sudan. Mm -hmm. Where we are staying, the tribes are called Noel. Mm -hmm. Noel. Oh, the Noels mm -hmm. are like the rules. Mm -hmm. if, if you speak a Noel, mm -hmm. a Noel language, mm -hmm. the world will understand. Mm -hmm. So, the Noels, they like revenge. Mm -hmm. If I killed your father, mm -hmm. even if it's 20 years to come, but taken all. By who? Take attack. Uh -huh. Because of? Rent areas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
we had everything. Mm -hmm. My laptop was there. Mm -hmm. We had a sofa seat. Mm -hmm. We had a total gas. Everything. The things that were in the house were worth more than 150,000 when mm -hmm. I calculated. Mm -hmm. It took a while. Okay. When we wanted to pay, mm -hmm. when my wife got the money, it was only 36,000 because we were paying 12,000. Mm -hmm. When we wanted to pay, mm -hmm. he told me, come. I went. I did not find him. Mm -hmm. Come again, I don't find him. Three times, mm -hmm. I gave up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're back to Kenya. Yeah. Everything is taken. Yeah. You, you've been a... Were you misplaced? Or I mean, a, uh, did you take another house, rent, uh, rental house? No, mm -hmm. I went back to Kisi. Oh, you went back to... My wife was staying with him, the aunt, her aunt. Here in Nairobi? Yeah. So in, you decided to... I went back to Kisi. Go to Kisi. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I stayed in Kisi like six months. Mm -hmm. That time, in those six months, mm -hmm. I did not test alcohol. Okay. I fear my dad mm -hmm. and I respect him. Mm -hmm. I was like, I you wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. I go to the garden, I do my job, I come back in the house, I sleep. He didn't ask you why you came back from Sudan and he sent you to... No, you he knew everything. Oh, okay. He knew okay. everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you stayed home for six months? Yeah. Without taking alcohol? Yeah. Then after six months? My daddy was angry. He mm -hmm. told me, no. One woman, he was a job. Yeah, was a job. Yes. Uh -huh. So I called my wife. Now here, I'm not lucky. Mm -hmm. I have no anything. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife told me, even I wanted you, can you come back to Nairobi? Mm -hmm. She took a, a, a bed mm -hmm. I came back to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I stayed with my, with my first one for three months. Mm -hmm. I got another job mm -hmm. in Yatel. Yatel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I started doing that job like one year. Mm -hmm. But in that job, I met with my cousin, mm -hmm. who is a drunkard. Mm -hmm. So you've you, you got this job mm -hmm. after staying six months mm -hmm. without taking alcohol. Mm -hmm. yes. And then you meet your cousin then? Mm -hmm. I meet my cousin, mm -hmm. introduced me again to alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, there's one thing. Uh, if you go away with, from God, God, God goes away from you like ten steps. Yeah. One step, yeah, ten steps for God. Yeah, true. Uh -huh. So, so I came. Your cousin. Yeah. My cousin introduced me to alcohol. We started again. Mm -hmm. I was doing three lines. Three. So welcome. Uh -huh. Airtel telecom. Mm -hmm. So welcome. We could replace like ten lines. Ten lines that is five hundred fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. Airtel, we replace like four lines. Mm -hmm. That's two hundred. Mm -hmm. That's seven hundred. Telecom. Telecom we were selling it at 50 bob. Mm -hmm. We sell like 10 lines. That's 500 again. Mm -hmm. So we could bring that money wow. forward. Hey, with your cousin? With my cousin. Mm -hmm. You see this mark? Y yes, yes. You see this mark? Yes. One day I drank. Mm -hmm. I fall. There are those procs which are put on the road mm -hmm. to cover the holes around the roads. Mm -hmm. One broke and broken. I didn't know. I was walking and I was drunk. Mm -hmm. I found that pit. Then you, you injured your eye. Mm -hmm. My wife my wife was working in a camera called West Holdings. Mm -hmm. She had a cover and in Swan's cover. Mm -hmm. We discovered my spouse mm -hmm. and the two children. Mm -hmm. So I was taken to a African Agakan hospital. That was that's how I was saved. Okay, and I can see it's now healed. It is healed. Complete. Started to fight with my cousin. Mm -hmm. I was near it by a car. While fighting? While fighting. Mm -hmm. So I left him, I went to the house. That's how I left working there. Mm -hmm. I went back to my house. Mm -hmm. My another cousin gave me some money mm -hmm. to buy a speaker. To in, that speaker helps to in, to what your days lines. Mm -hmm. I started work, working with that speaker mm -hmm. at Tasia. Mm -hmm. I was doing well. Mm -hmm. My sister came to stay in my house. 
my last born sister. Mm -hmm. One time I was paid ID. Mm -hmm. Very good money. Mm -hmm. By by Airtel. By Airtel. Mm -hmm. Forty thousand. That's a good money. Mm -hmm. Other times they could pay me eight thousand, fifteen. Eight, mm -hmm. fifteen, mm -hmm. four thousand good money. It's a lot, yeah. I did every shopping in the house, mm -hmm. everything that they need in the house. Mm -hmm. One thing I forgot, I did not pay rent. <laughs> oh, you just did so shopping, then you forgot the rent. I, I did not pay rent. Mm -hmm. All the money went to alcohol. Okay. <laughs> now, how was it, how was life with your alcohol, with your wife, with your alcoholic life? That time when you're drinking, your wife is there. She didn't complain, she didn't say like, why are you drinking? Unakunya kila siku. Nobody can not complain. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky that I have a good wife. Mm -hmm. She could left me from time ago. Mm -hmm. She's good. Mm -hmm. She has been supporting me. Mm -hmm. She wakes up in the morning, mm -hmm. she prays for me. Mm -hmm. She holds hands, she prays for me goes to job. Mm -hmm. so, Even mm -hmm. all the time I drink, mm -hmm. I don't go in the house. Mm -hmm. I sleep outside. Okay. All the time. So you've been sleeping outside for some time? I sleep outside anytime I drink. Mm -hmm. Anytime I drink and I'm, I've drunk excess, mm -hmm. I sleep outside. So she doesn't ask why you sleep outside? She asks. Mm -hmm. I told you nobody cannot complain. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you you still drink? Yeah. Up to now? Yeah. Wow, okay. So, um, what, what, what do you think that uh, maybe viewers outside there or the audience, what do you feel like they can help you with? Mm -hmm. okay. well, what do you want you, people to help you with? Because, you know, uh, audience are watching this store of yours, mm. of drinking spree. What do you have in mind that uh, you, you, you can come up in, I mean, if there is someone out there that feel like wants to help this man. So what, what's your wish? My wish? Mm. Okay. okay. Before that, mm. my first one mm. is in people. Mm -hmm. She has no to go to school <laughs> because I feel that reason. we don't have money. Okay, school fees. Yeah. Mm. Uh, if my wife gets a job, mm. she can she can take care of that. So, does your wife work? She works, but the job does not pay good. Mm -hmm. You yourself? I don't have a job now. Right now. Okay. So do you, so far do you still drink like you used to drink before? No, mm. I've stayed like like five like six days. Mm. Like six days, mm -hmm. I go out. Like yesterday, mm -hmm. I drank. Mm -hmm. I was taken like uh, by a friend, mm -hmm. but I did not take alcohol like I used to take. Mm -hmm. What is this one thing that you did? That reminds you uh, way back while drunk. I think of my dude. Yeah? My dude. Yeah. No. I'm saying mm. this one thing that you can can make you remember. You know, sometimes Sukikachino Nasema, hey, it was so bad. You know, it was so bad that I would wish again to happen to me. Oh, yes. Three things. Last week, I drank three days consecutive. Today, tomorrow, the other day. The first day, I drank with Kojole. Mm -hmm. I obeyed okay. for myself. Mm. The second day, I found myself in a sewage. A sewage. Mm -hmm. And then I removed the shirt I was wearing, mm -hmm. I went with a fist. Mm -hmm. I threw that shot. Mm -hmm. does, does your dad know that you drink? I finish. I would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that day, mm -hmm. I drank. Now I'm like, I've gone two days in the house. My wife is always complaining. Mm -hmm. How do I go? 
I slept outside. After the incident? Yeah, I slept outside. Mm -hmm. When I slept outside, the light, Panya, mm -hmm. bites me, yeah? Okay. I think the, the light thought like I'm dead. Mm -hmm. I had. <laughs> okay. Okay, my dad knows that I drink. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't like it. This one time, I wanted to go back home to stay there. Mm -hmm. I told my wife. My wife inspired me. Okay. So, so now, you know, Sai, you still drink. And it seemed like you've not stopped drinking. So, why, why do you think, or what reason made you to share your story? I want to stop drinking. Mm. If I want to hurry up. Mm -hmm. Or you want to go to rehab? If I want to hurry up, mm -hmm. I arrange myself. Okay. Mm. Okay. So the reason for sharing your story is to be helped yeah. by someone so that you can go to rehab yeah. and stop drinking. Mm. From okay. there, mm -hmm. also I have a dream. Mm -hmm. I have a good degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to go back to school. Mm -hmm. But if I get someone who can pay for me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I, that's why I'm asking you because you know people are watching you and they, mm -hmm. I'm sure some will come out. Mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, to re will reach out to you to you and also to see how they can maybe help you since you're saying you want to go to rehab. And that's why, you, you know, I wanted you to tell the reasons as why you're sharing a story yeah. and also to give uh, reasons of which you're, you're saying, like, you have a dream, mm. you have a good grade. Mm. You went to university, but unfortunately you dropped out because you didn't like the course. Didn't like yeah. it. Yeah. So, nini unezataka wa kusai? Dini iyo tuya ku kuenda rehab na ku... Dream. My dream. Mm -hmm. uh, if three, the last one, mm -hmm. if they can get a job for my, for my wife mm -hmm. to take care of my children okay. when I'm there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My so, wife is a graduate. Mm -hmm. She did English literature, mm -hmm. PA English literature from my university. Okay. But she has worked in Barclays. Mm -hmm. She has worked in uh, Chatico. Mm -hmm. She has worked in a uh, duty free shop mm -hmm. at the airport. Mm -hmm. She has worked in two circles at uh, the Quest. Mm -hmm. Now she's working here, Platinum. Oh, platinum? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it in your family? Is he the one only drinking or what when you on a kunya? My dad was drinking. Oh, your dad? Yeah. But he. She, he gave, he gave his life to Jesus mm -hmm. when I was in class one. Okay. Yeah. So he inherit, kind of. Uh -huh. My my brother is also drinking. So your brother Pian and Akunyo come away. Okay. He's also having a problem, an alcoholic problem like yours. Yeah. Mm. His problem is even bigger than mine. Okay. Okay. He's not married. Mm -hmm. So it's in the family? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, what what have you learned from this alcoholic life so far? Because now where you've reached you, Nataka, when you say, DK, you go to rehab and also one, accomplish your dream. One, mm. you cannot no, you cannot keep a family with alcohol. Mm -hmm. You can't. Mm -hmm. Because your finances go to alcohol. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. you cannot accomplish your dream. Whichever case, wherever you go, mm -hmm. you cannot be dark. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to look at that camera and tell you know people outside there exactly what you're saying. One, mm -hmm. you not keep your family. Mm -hmm. Thank God I have a good wife mm -hmm. that can keep living with me even if I'm thinking. Two, you cannot accomplish your dream. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want, you can't. Mm -hmm. Three, you waste your life in alcohol. 
at the end of the day you go to hell. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Sawa sawa. Inajua sasa viewers wamekusikia na as you are saying wanataka usaidie school. So viewers my brother here needs serious help and he is he's been struggling with alcohol for the last 3 years, right? Leo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he needs a help. He say he wants go to rehab in case he get someone who can connect him there and then he wants to you know he wants to fulfill his dream he has a dream at the same time he's requesting if there is anyone that can help him to help him to, or the wife to secure a job so uh the last words that you are your, your wife is so caring from the look of things but as kumoja atakuja kumtafuta tumlete tumsikize na because actually she's been she's been survive you know persevering your alcoholic life mm. which is rare in the many marriage cases mm. like you put it you put it it's not easy to keep a family when you're always drinking spree mm. day in day out mm. so what message do you have for her on that camera there i know she will watch this video my wife sure. i love you uh, this demon will go out you enjoy it you have been praying for me you will send angels to cover me thank you so much it will go out i will i will start behaving like a man you have always told me that okay <laughs> last words to alcoholic addicts please please reach out to people if you are an addict reach out to people you can be helped you cannot by yourself even the bible says it's not by power it's by the spirit of the lord reach out to people talk to them you can be helped like now it's like no yes i took alcohol yesterday but it's not like i used to do so so and how will people reach you like what kitaka kufikia your contacts you can tell them your contacts 07 mm-hmm. 20 52 53 63 07 20 52 53 63 07 29 39 10 12 okay Thank you so much viewers for watching this uh, show and uh, my brother here is having a you know a co- struggling with alcoholic journey he's requesting for help from well wishers i know you're watching this uh, show here you're watching him here trying to explain himself he's still drink struggling with drinking he needs a help and i know one or two people or viewers will come through his uh, problem drinking problem so karibu sana yeah karibu sana to our show yeah. uh, tuliko hapa na na your hubby mm-hmm. and they we talked uh, at length about his condition here yeah, yeah drinking yes. yeah so to man at least we bring you to our show and also you give part of your story yes. vile how you you manage kukana at home because unajua we know it's not a disease it's a condition mm-hmm. yeah that can be you know uh taken care of and treated yeah. na rudi sawa so yeah, before tuendele naomba tu uh, introduce mm-hmm. and then from there we proceed okay mimi kwa majina naitwa Anne Mwende mzaliwa wa Machakos yeah yeah sauti kidogo and mimi ndio Anne Mwende na ndio Mrs Abel na nimezaliwa Machakos mm-hmm. yeah okay so uh Mr Abel you have us here to come you get part of the story but from BS how do you handle that situation like as okay as a, a mother as a wife mm-hmm. and also at the same time as a breadwinner you understand yes. so how do you handle this situation yeah, you come out so far okay before he got into alcoholism 
alikuwa very responsible man alikuwa anapata pesa tunatumia pamoja tunafanya mambo mingi pamoja tunaendelea vizuri mm-hmm. so tukikutana hakukuwa kwa ulevi hata kidogo mm-hmm. but the moment mama yake akapas akatuma sudani na mama yake na baba yake kumsaidia kibiashara huko ndio alipata mateso mengi na akarudi akiwa mlevi okay. so now when things changed nikakuwa sasa ninaishi na mlevi it was not easy mm-hmm. it has not been an easy journey mm-hmm. imekuwa ngumu mm-hmm. as you all know kuishi na mlevi tu iko na shida zake yeah. but the reason ninakaa tu na yeye akiwa tu hivyo mm-hmm. it's because as much as analewa he is very respectful mm-hmm. akuangia violent ayuko abusive mm-hmm ako tu nzuri mm-hmm. shida ni vile anakunywa na blackout mm-hmm. unapata sasa challenges ni my face anaenda na kunywa anaweza beba aletwe kwa nyumba na kila watu hivi kwa ukuta mm-hmm. ninaachiwa hapo sasa ni attend mm-hmm. anaenda na kunywa na umia kuna wakati alichimboliwa shimo hapa na mawe mm-hmm. sasa tena ni mshungulikia ni mpeleke hospitali mm-hmm. kuna wakati napata amegongwa na chupa mm-hmm ana anaumia umia mara mingi mara mingi analala nje kwa kwa mfua mm-hmm. kwa siwe nje na kuja tu akikaa tu siwe nje na yeah. unapata tu ako tu kwa hali mbaya mm-hmm. sasa hiyo ndio hali yake ya ulevi sababu ulevi yenye anakunywa ni changa mm-hmm. na imekuwa tu mbaya mm-hmm. so siku hizi tena ameanza kukua mgonjwa mm-hmm. unapata na mwana na tumbo na mwana na kifua mm-hmm. anatetemeka mwili nasikia anatetemeka anasema anatete uko ndani nasikia anatetemeka mm-hmm. ndio sababu sasa tuliona this is has become too much mm-hmm. na tukaona tunahitaji msaada okay. at least aweze kusaidika yeah. asi, asipoteze maisha yake hivyo mm-hmm. tuko na watoto wawili mm-hmm. unapata because of this alcoholism ni, ka, ni kama mimi ndio mpredi wina juu kwanza hana job mm-hmm. ni kuhasol tu mm-hmm. pati akihasol unapata saa zingine anakunya yote yenye amepata mm-hmm. saa zingine analeta kwa nyumba ki, kidogo mm-hmm. unapata tuko tu na mashida shida okay. mimi kazi nafanya iko stable mm-hmm. unapata nipata mshahara mm-hmm. mimi nilipe nyumba mm-hmm. ndio chakula ndio school fees inaishamba tu the same day unapata okay. tena nimeingia kwa mandeni mm-hmm. lazima nishungulike tuna tunakula nini mm-hmm. watoto watavaa nini mm-hmm. hizo shughuli shughuli tu za kawaida mm-hmm. so imekuwa ngumu mm-hmm. sio rahisi okay. lakini jo ninampenda mm-hmm. na yeye pia ananipenda mm-hmm. anapenda familia yake okay. is a responsible man mm-hmm. hata akiwa tu hivyo mlevi mm-hmm. hata ukimwacha na watoto kama atuna house girl he mm-hmm. takes care of them mm-hmm. ana watake care kabisa mm-hmm. ana unapata washughulikia chakula mm-hmm. kama ni taipa na wafunga mm-hmm amekuwa tu a good man. Okay. Shida tu ni ile na ni addiction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Na sasa mm, understand sasa hii uh, katika harakati cuz when you breadwinner unataka when you nasimamia everything mm-hmm. when you take care of, kama amelewa ameletwa kwa nyumba everything is on you. So ungetaka usaidiwaje? For example maybe kama kuna mtu anakuoch na anajua this uh, ule, uh, addiction alcoholic ina haikuwa kitu rais so ungetaka kusaidiwaje if said is ningetaka ni apele kwa rehab mm-hmm. at least ya kuwe reformed mm-hmm. apate treatment sababu tukiangalia tume nimekuwa ni research hizo rehabs mm-hmm. napata zile free wanasema ni za street people mm-hmm. na yako na family so family inafaa kumshughulikia mm-hmm. but sasa hiyo family ni mimi okay. na sina uwezo mm-hmm. So ni me research ni kona the cheapest rehab ni 30000 per month. Mm-hmm. Na nafaa kwenda for at least 3 months. Mm-hmm. But sasa hiyo uwezo hatuna. Kwa okay. sababu tume come out mm-hmm. to ask for help. Watoto wako shule? Watoto ni mmoja kwa shule na pia hata yeye size imekuwa ngumu sababu acha atuja afford school fees ya kumrudisha yeah. PP2. Mhm. Ndio tuko na rest mpaka za last last term. Mm-hmm. So you got to okay. we are still mm-hmm. looking for money to rudish mm-hmm. shule. Mm-hmm. Kuna wewe mdogo wako one year old. Mm-hmm. Yes. Na na kisha lewa is he violent? Ni mtu mwenye mm-hmm. anakuangarafu ama is 
akuangi kama amelewa kabisa ana blackout hakuna mm-hmm. ajiski mm-hmm. nasikia analetangwa tu anaepwa kwa mlango mm-hmm. so ni kumbeba tena mm-hmm. ni muingize kwa nyumba mm-hmm. akisha kuwa inaishaisha kidogo mm-hmm. anakuwa very loving very caring mm-hmm. are you violent are you abusive oh, hata kama amelewa hivyo sometimes eh kuna kwa very caring oh. kwanza watoto wote anataka wakae na eh, eh. Mm-hmm. yeah Okay. Okay. Yes. So, so, mm. you know, viewers have heard your, your, your cry to handle someone who is uh, alcoholic addict so easy in attacker patients and I can see you are strong and you know you, you love him so much and which is okay and I will also encourage you to you know first thing put him in prayer Yes, I do. And uh, also keep loving him. We should give up because we are in Malawi because you have a family together. Yes. And viewers, I'm sure they're watching this. I uh, you know one or two will come through your story or his story. Now, you, you, Mr. what do you do for a living? Okay, I'm I'm working mm-hmm. in a certain company, mm-hmm. but na pata it's your job stable. Mm-hmm. So okay. kama ningepata kazi stable at least hata akienda real mm-hmm. kuwa naweza chiweza na kushughulikia watoto mm-hmm. naweza furahi sana okay yes sawa sawa mm-hmm. i'm sure viewers have, have watching this and they one or two may come out and come to your story na wakusaidia especially the, the father of your children yeye yes. anataka sasa kwanza usaidie sana Kabisa. because Kabisa. your condition i saw him mm-hmm. and tulikuwa na interview hapa and it, it wasn't that good you know appearance vile alikuwa anakaa because najua mtu akiwa hivyo waki it's a big thing nataka usaidize needs intervention okay. so i hope you have heard story of uh, miss abel she has given the the challenges she sometimes go through uh, when is uh, with the habit house after getting drunk and all that hope you, one of you or two will come through her story Please please give her ukona ungemind kupeana kwa nini your numbers in case someone wants to reach you. Anytime. Yeah, just give the number here. 0725 mm-hmm. 391 012. Mm-hmm. Na ingine ni 0720 525363. Okay. Those are my numbers. Sasa, thank you so much for coming to our uh, Sure, we pray for you Thank and uh, you. we shall call you to see how you're faring on. Thank you. Thank you so much viewers for watching this uh, show. I hope you've had uh, Madam Store and uh, we pray you come through her story. Kenyan Savage generous I know. So thank you so much. I've been your host David Charms. See you in the next show.